Excellency, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister for State of Defence Affairs. Your Excellency, Mr. Sadiq Al Shahabi, Minister for Health. Your Excellencies, academic colleagues, distinguished guests, students, ladies, gentlemen and friends, good evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Professor Martin Corbelly, and I have the pleasure of being your Master of Ceremonies tonight. It is my privilege and honour to warmly welcome you here to celebrate this outstanding milestone, the 10th anniversary of RCSI Bahrain. We especially welcome those who have travelled some distance to be with us tonight, and I would especially like to acknowledge our keynote speaker who has travelled from the Mayo Clinic to be with us today, Dr. Michael Brennan, and his wife, Dr. Rebecca Ban. You're both very welcome. I would now like to introduce our first speaker of the night. Can you please give a warm welcome to the President of RCSI Bahrain, President Samir Otum. This is a very exciting time for all of us at RCSI. We have several milestones to celebrate, and all present in this room are part of this success and achievement. So many congratulations for all of us. I want to begin by paying tribute to staff who built RCSI Bahrain to what it's today. We started in 2004 with just 10 staff. Today, we have 142 full-time and more than 100 clinical staff in our affiliated teaching hospitals and primary healthcare centers. Why did we establish a university in Bahrain? It's because of our long relationship of mutual respect, very high regard for the medical profession in Bahrain, the strong commitment of the government of Bahrain to health, education, and the development of its people. There is no country in the region with the same high proportion of its medical and nursing staff made up of its own citizens. This allows the development of a very high self-sustaining standard of health care, which can be a magnet for the entire region. And we also share a deep cultural respect for education and learning. It's very much ingrained in both our cultures that education and work are the levers to lift up a people. A medical university such as ours can only thrive with the support of the Ministry of Education, and we very much value the support of the Minister and our work with Professor Riyad Hamza, the Secretary General of Higher Education, and his colleagues at the Higher Education Council. And I would say to the students here tonight, you're entering a world of amazing new discoveries and great opportunities to be a part of that and that your RCSI training will, uh, uh, will stand to you as you uh, engage in those endeavors. As the science of medicine progresses, however, we must make sure that the art of medicine keeps a pace. The healing mission demands both, and which is nurtured to the consistent expression of professionalism. No medical school is better positioned, in my opinion, than RCSI to achieve this. In summary, I want, to, uh, I want you to know how fortunate I have been to have received my training both at RCSI and Mayo Clinic. They complement each other. My gratitude towards bo both is boundless. Over the years, I have relished my continued close ties to RCSI and its staff, and have been the recipient of extraordinary kindness and consideration during my many visits. That kind of consideration has clearly now been extended to Rebecca and I here at RCSI in Bahrain. I think it's just part of the RCSI culture. There is perhaps no greater joy and honor than to be acknowledged by one's own alma mater. For me, two highlights occurred in 2010, a year in which I was elected to the presidency of the Mayo Clinic staff and was conferred with honorary fellowship of RCSI. The handsome honorary fellowship diploma occupies center stage on my office back at Mayo Clinic, right beside that of the Mayo staff presidency. Ladies and gentlemen, they look well together. Before concluding my comments, there is a brief epilogue. On the evening of the fellowship conferring, Rebecca and I arrived, not on bicycles, but by taxi, on St. Stephen's Green, and we found the college in all of its illuminated splendor. There, we were greeted by RCSI president, uh, Frank Keane, who escorted us up the steps and into the front door, through the front door. On entering the, uh, the, the uh, uh, foyer, I paused for a moment and recalled the events of that rainy 1962 October morning. 
And I thought to myself, here's to you, Mr. Cooper. Here's to you. Thank you. This has been a busy year in Bahrain. We had a wonderful graduation in June. Our interns have performed extraordinarily well in the national licensing examinations. The university has had multiple successful accreditation visits, culminating in the long-awaited inspection by the Irish Medical Council. Everyone can appreciate the amount of work that went into that visit, the quality of the documentation, and the preparatory work behind it. Since its foundation, the National University of Ireland has sought through its awards to identify and honour the brightest minds and talents across the diverse National University of Ireland community. The NUI awards include prestigious fellowships and travelling studentships in the humanities and sciences, including medicine, as well as numerous scholarships and prizes in a wide range of subject areas. The NUI awards are open to NUI graduates and undergraduate students in the constituent universities and recognised colleges. The largest group of awards are the Dr. Henry Hutchinson Stewart Scholarships and Prizes. Dr. Henry Hutchinson Stewart was himself a graduate of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, obtaining his license to practice in 1829. This award was initially established in 1888, following a bequest from the estate of the late Dr. Stewart. These awards were continued by the NUI on its foundation in 1908. This year, for the first time, there are two award winners from RCSI Bahrain. I would now like to call on the Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, Dr. Morris Manning, to come up on stage and present the Dr. Henry Hutchison Stewart Scholarships. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating and welcoming to the stage Mr. Yusuf Al Alwan, who is the winner of the second prize of the Dr. Henry Hutchison Stewart Scholarship in Pediatrics. and Dr. Hiba Omar o Mohammed, who is the winner of the third prize in the Dr. Henry Hutchinson Stewart Scholarship in Surgery. These award winners beat off very significant competition from medical students in RCSI Dublin, University College Dublin, University College Cork, and the National University of Ireland at Galway. So please give them another well-deserved round of applause. Every year, RCSI Bahrain presents the Dean's Awards to two members of staff in recognition of their contribution and commitment to the university. Ladies and gentlemen, to announce and present the 2014 RCSI Bahrain Dean's Awards, please welcome Professor Hannah McGee, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences in RCSI Dublin, and RCSI Bahrain's Vice President for Academic Affairs, Professor Joe McMiniman. The Dean's Awards are given annually to two members of staff, one academic and one administration, and they are presented to a person who consistently delivers the requirements of their job and demonstrates efforts above and beyond the normal duties of their post. The Academic Dean's Award winner this year was nominated by a number of people. This is what they said about this person. Always has a smile, has a way of teaching and explaining things that students love, consistently goes above and beyond what is reasonably expected, is very flexible in the workplace and often volunteers, is highly motivated, and is active and productive in research. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic winner of the 2014 Dean's Award is Dr. Edwina Brennan.
The Administration Dean's Award winner this year was nominated again by a number of people, and this is what they said about this person. Has excellent organization skills, works quietly without complaining, is an excellent communicator, exhibits commitment and great attention to detail, does not look for awards, is a truly dedicated employee of RCSI Bahrain. Ladies and gentlemen, the administration winner of the 2014 Dean's Award is May Maher. And now we have a special performance all the way from Ireland. Dausa means dance in the na native Irish language. Established in 2001, directors Denise Flynn and Jim Murray were both original cast members of Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance and Feet of Flames. Experts in the field of Irish dance, the Dausa troupe consistently wow audiences with their electric performances in Ireland and throughout Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dausa. 